talked a lot about him, high club, obviously, numbers are good, but you as someone who's done it, what makes him maybe a high school contender? Um, leading a team that has a chance to contend, I think that plays a lot into it right now, uh, especially with some of the other guys that are high school contenders. Um, I think obviously putting up the stats, but it's got to be more than just stats. There's a lot of guys that are putting up stats. I think it's also the way you do it, you know, being able to be a guy that can run and throw and lead his team and, and pull out big wins. Uh, some of the plays that he made versus uh, LSU, you know, some of those plays are signature plays that Heisman voters look for. Um, you know, and, and he's got a lot of big games that are going to give him a chance. You know, if he pulls off quite a few victories, he'll have a shot. Uh, this one, Auburn next week, you know, you find a way to win in Tuscaloosa. That gives you a shot. I mean, I think that won it for Johnny Manziel his freshman year was that win in Tuscaloosa. So, so you know, those are huge. You know, signature moments. If he can have a few more of those this year, I think they'll at least be in the race. I know you've been a little busy after all. you got out of Florida, but how much have you tracked what Coach Mullen has done here and just thoughts on the program in general? I've tracked him. I think he's done a great job with the program. I think he is, yeah, he's created depth in this program. Um, you know, they've, they've all, Mississippi State's always had a lot of talent, but they haven't always had a lot of depth the same way that defensively they have right now, um, being able to rotate all 22 in their first game. I mean, that's not – a lot of teams don't have that ability. So um, I think he's – you know, it's obviously taking a chance. But when it pays off, it's pretty good for your program. And um, so he's doing some really good things, and I obviously love what he's doing offensively. He really is giving Dak an opportunity uh, to play to his strengths and to succeed. And uh, to run you will. And Josh Robinson, this offensive line, uh, they're playing with swag and an edge, and that's what you want to see. And you, ha I really believe you have to have that to, to win a championship. So I think they got a chance. Do you see a lot of similarities between this team and that 08 team that is kind of coaching here at Florida, whether it's Spikes and McKinney, you and Dak, Jamie on and Percy Harvin? There seems to be kind of some similarities. I think there's there's definitely some similarities. Um, you know, I think for us, we were a team that uh, was very veteran at that point. We had gone through a lot of ups, a lot of downs, playing a lot of big games and that's something we'll find out you know how much this team really has in these big games uh, because we all came in together so we we had won in our freshman year and had the highs and lows of that season our sophomore year the highs and lows of that season and so coming into our junior year that nothing was going to phase us we really felt that way and so um, you know we'll see if anything can phase this team but right now they have a lot of swag and a lot of belief and I, I just you know I can't say enough about it because when you have 18 to 22 year olds it's not always talented it's not always size. It's not always speed. It's believing in your team. It's playing for your brother next to you. It's having momentum because that's why college football is awesome because you can see upsets. The best team doesn't always win, and I, that's one reason why I love college football so much. When the quarterback, I'm sure you look at defense differently. So we look at Preston Smith, Mark McKinney, yeah. guys like that. What do you see out of them? Like well, they're really good in certain areas of their game. Um, you know, Bernard McKinney is a um, – you know, he looks like a freak out there. I mean, at 6'5", 255, um, he's someone that is really tough to run the ball against. You know, Preston Smith is a playmaker. He's made plays every single week. You know, you got guys, you know, Chris Jones, who um, technically doesn't even start. He might be the most disruptive defensive lineman in, in the SEC. So you got a lot of playmakers. And I also think that uh, Mississippi State's corners are underrated this year as well. I think they can make plays, I think, because that US, uh, UAB game, they you know, gave up a few deep plays that that's what people are saying, oh, they need to cover. I think they're pretty good. Um, so it, you know, they're going to need to play well tomorrow against a lot of really good skill players for a &M. There's been some comparisons between you and Dak and you, kind of the way that y'all play. Do you see any similarities between y'all's games? Well, I mean, you know, we're both we are both physical runners. Um, you know, we both played in Mullen's offense. Um, you know, we both like to sling it around a little bit. And so, um, you know, the thing that I really like about Dak is um, there's something more about him. Um, when you get a chance to be around him, we get a chance to watch him. It's not just, oh, you know, I'm the quarterback of Mississippi State. No, it's I, I believe in this program. I believe in these guys. I want to lead them. Like he was telling me earlier today that uh, he was visiting his girlfriend and he stopped by the Georgia Dome because he wanted to see where he's going to be playing in the SEC championship game. And I don't say that to make him sound arrogant, but that, that's what you love to see. You, that's, that's a confidence that you have to have as a quarterback. And your team has to know you have that. 
that confidence. And if they see that, then they'll have that confidence. And that's something that, that you know, a lot of people call it swag, or he has the hit factor, he has whatever. But, you know, from what I've seen of Dak, he has that. This Mississippi State team's built upon three four star prospects, not a whole lot of five star prospects. What are the characteristics? Well, recruiting isn't an players? exact science, so that doesn't always mean everything, you know. Sometimes a five star guy isn't always the best, and sometimes they don't recruit the best players. So, you know, it's about evaluating who you want, going after who you want, and getting those people. And so I think it's, you know, Mississippi State has done a really good job at evaluating talent um, because that's it's not always what rival says or what these people say. You know, it's about evaluating who you want, how they fit your program, and, and getting those players. And Mississippi State has done that. They have guys up their front seven on defense. It's physical. They play that way. Um, you know, that's what they wanted. You know, they're linebackers, 6'3", 245, bigger than most programs, but they can play that way. And I think it's a, it's really evaluating your guys and getting who you who you go after.